This scene keeps playing out across Chicago and some suburbs. Thieves smashing cars into businesses and stealing heavy ATMs. Tonight, in a story you'll see only on two, our Germont Terry is live in Westtown with the drastic measures some business owners are taking to keep the thieves away. Germont. Erica, this currency exchange here in Westtown is the latest business to be hit by thieves. Now, you can see that the glass has been repaired, but let me show you something else. Signs like this reading, the ATM is emptied every night before close. They are popping up at every currency exchange throughout the city, and they're even going a step further. The broken glass outside this currency exchange in Westtown is all too familiar for the owner. Last week, thieves broke the glass for the fifth time and got away with the ATM in the lobby. Crooks are often using stolen vehicles to break down any protection, forcing their way inside. And within seconds, the crews carry out the machine. They just went crazy. It's happening so often, currency exchange owners are ready to fight back. Anybody that has an ATM is is potentially uh, could fall victim to this. Security expert Sean Aaron says while currency exchanges are currently the target, he warns any business with the ATM could find themselves the target of this growing trend. So if you're going to stick, you know, $10,000 out in your open lobby, you need to protect that asset. The president of the Community Currency Exchange Association of Illinois tells CBS2 the newest measure to deter the vandals by making sure the ATMs are emptied at night. He's going further to instruct 300 stores across Chicago and the suburbs to leave the ATM doors open so individuals looking to break in can see there is no cash to steal. It's becoming too costly to repair the windows, doors, and glass from these overnight crimes. Put a GPS on it, a cellular GPS on it. And then once it's stolen, track it back. Aaron's point out many of the ATMs are able to get carried out because the businesses don't have them bolted. The videos I've seen, they're just sliding it across the floor and throwing it in the back of the car in a period of time of 36 seconds. That tells me the ATM is not anchored. In addition to securing the ATM, it's recommended businesses upgrade thicker glass on windows, which is harder to break. We're just trying to increase the delay opportunity for a witness or police to respond. And back here in Westtown, again, the currency exchange owners are trying to prevent and tell the crooks that there will be no more money inside any of these ATMs at night, the majority of the time when these instances are taking place. Chicago police, they have not made an arrest um, in this incident from last Friday. Reporting live in Westtown tonight, Jermont Terry, CBS2 News. Erica? Thank you, Jermont.